The best new feature of the Cinema 4D Release 18 Color Chooser, in my opinion, is that it has a complete Python and C++ API for the swatches palette. Now that's a little bit hard to show you in a quick tip. I can open up some documentation that you may or may not understand, but I do want to point out here that the SDK support team has done a really great job of providing some nice examples for how to achieve common things with the new API methods in the Release 18 SDK. But to make the benefits of this new API just a little bit more clear, I want to show you some of the new enhancements that we've already started working on for CV Swim version 3.0. CV Swim is our Cineversity plugin that imports Adobe Swatch Exchange files. And from those, it can create swatches, it can create new materials, it can create multi shaders and gradients. It's a really handy tool when you're working with color, but its functionality was somewhat limited in release 17 because there was no color swatch API. Well, thanks to the new enhancements in release 18, we've been able to add in that functionality and even a little bit more. Now, surprisingly enough, Adobe has made it a little bit tricky to actually get your hands on an Adobe Swatch Exchange file. If you're using their Color CC website or any of their color apps, they only give you the option to save the color scheme into your Creative Cloud library. Here's a quick overview of how you can get those color schemes out of your Creative Cloud library and into a Swatch Exchange file. And the trick is to use Adobe Illustrator. You'll find your color schemes that you've saved in your library inside of the library's palette. So we'll just go ahead and drag that out. And then you also have your swatches palette that includes all of the swatches that you're going to use within Adobe Illustrator. Well, in order to use these color schemes, you need to add them to your swatches and that's how we'll export them as well. So right click on the color schemes and choose add to swatches and you'll see they show up right here in your swatches palette when you do that. Now, once they're in your swatches palette, you can go ahead and click on the menu here for the palette and choose to save the swatch library as ASE. We'll go ahead and save that onto the desktop, name it adobecolors.ase, and we'll go ahead and switch into Cinema 4D. Now we can merge those swatches directly into Cinema 4D's swatches palette simply by choosing File Merge. And choosing that adobecolors.ase file. I want to make sure to turn off the option to create materials and create shaders. We're just going to update the quick storage or color swatches here, and I'm going to click OK. And now you can see that we get all of those swatches right here in our color swatch palette. Well, with Swim 3.0, we're taking this one step further and allowing you to do some of the Swim magic with the color swatches that are in your palette, regardless of whether they came from an Adobe Swatch Exchange file or if you created them directly in Cinema 4D. And the way we're doing that is that you can simply select swatches and then from the plugins menu, you now have direct commands to add a colorizer from the swatches, a gradient from the swatches, create individual materials for each swatch, or create a MoGraph multi-shader based on the swatches. So if I choose this create multi-shader from swatches option, it's going to create a new material with a multi-shader and inside that multi-shader are all of those color swatches that I selected in the color swatches palette. I can go up a level and copy this multi-shader and we'll go ahead and go into my nail polish material and I'm going to replace the color shader that I'm using here with that multi-shader simply by choosing paste shader. And now we've populated all of our nail polish colors from our Adobe Illustrator color swatches. And that's the power of the color swatch API in Cinema 4D Release 18 and what we're able to achieve in CV Swim 3.0. If you enjoyed this quick tip, please like, share, and visit cineversity.com for more great Cinema 4D tutorials and resources.